Well, first, I'd like to again emphasize uh, how proud we are of the governor and the administration for really backing this project. It, it shows true courage uh, to get out there and make changes. And as you heard in the announcement, uh, many states have gone through this deinstitutionalization process and then they've been stuck. We, we don't want to just replace our aging state hospitals, which have been very much focused on custodial care. We need to get a, a modernized system that really focuses on what patients today need. Our patients are aging, they have more medical needs, and so the, the key concept of integrated care, integrating medical and psychiatric care together, and providing uh, a rapid throughput state facility, which is something we've never had here in Indiana. The average length of stay in our state facilities is over two years. The average length of stay in this new facility will be 30 days or less. That's how we're able to care for many more patients, even though it's only a 159-bed facility. We also will be having centers of excellence within the walls of, of the new institute. Obviously leveraging our great partnership with Community Health Network, we'll be able to bring your uh, medical and clinical specialists in to assist in the management of renal disease, of end-stage cardiovascular disease, even neurological conditions. You can see the synergies there. But all those medical issues complicate the patient's psychiatric condition. And that's what's allowed us uh, to uh, maximize what we're able to do in our state facilities. Many of our outlying hospitals don't have that level of medical support. As a result, they can only take very medically stable and usually younger patients. We have uh, many geriatric patients that need more medical care and we'll be able to do that here. We also know that we have great demand uh, for child and adolescent services and uh, there's tragic stories around the state of patients who need a high level of uh, of um, uh, care who are turned away from community hospitals, there's no, not enough children's hospitals around, and it ends up being more of a custodial model there. They just want some place to place those individuals. Now we'll be able to do the advanced neurodiagnostics to make sure, is this really autism, ADHD, or is it a learning disability with cognitive impairment? Uh, these are important issues because that's what drives appropriate treatment. And once we have the treatment correct and the patient is better, then when they leave this facility, they will have the follow-up they need through telemedicine and what we call that warm handoff as they go back to their home communities to continue to get that support and access to our uh, psychiatric expertise here at the Institute. So there will be no in uh, outpatient uh, follow up actually here on site. Everything will be done remotely, but utilizing video conferencing and uh, telemedicine techniques. And we're very excited about that as well. As you know, back in the spring after the, uh, the funds for the bond payments were put into the budget and we embarked upon this feasibility study, an RFI went out and, and other systems around the state responded. But we were absolutely thrilled with what uh, Community Hospital put together because it's not only uh, the leveraging of your medical expertise here at this campus and the connection to the emergency department and to your cancer center, but it's also the fact that community has such a long history of strong support for mental health care uh, throughout the state. Um, community is the biggest provider of mental health services uh, across the state and has maintained that commitment when uh, other community uh, hospital systems, um, and I, they will go nameless, but they have decided to contract their uh, bed count or eliminate inpatient psychiatric services altogether. Um, we believe that was a mistake and it put increasing pressure on uh, community-based placements and outpatient centers to take care of folks that really need a different level of care. Um, Deinstitutionalization as a concept I think we've all supported. Many patients that left state hospitals years ago have done fine in the community, but many have not. And uh, to be residing in a jail or a prison or a nursing home or getting your medical care in the emergency department or in a mission is just not appropriate. And we can do better in Indiana and we will do better with this new facility.